What's up guys, I'm Marcin from RossBarrettech.com. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well today too. Now today's video is gonna start off our new video series. I'm creating a tutorial video series on JavaScript. This is a programming language. Now if you guys are thinking of learning a programming language but you guys don't know which one to start out with, I highly recommend JavaScript. Now there's two I highly recommend. JavaScript is one, Python is the other. I recommend JavaScript over Python because of three reasons. There's more than three, but it's a front end a backend and a web app developer making an interactive web page you can uh, do all the stuff in the back end like basically inter interact with databases and stuff like that create your own database and you can create mobile apps using javascript so it's the full package i highly recommend it and it's a really powerful language and if you guys want to be programmers or software developers it's basically one of the things you have to know uh, if you go on any interview especially a, a software engineering interview they'll definitely ask you about javascript if you know javascript and they'll ask you like technical questions about javascript so i highly recommend it now in this video, we're, we're going to install our IDE. So the one I recommend is Visual Studios Code. And the reason I recommend it is because I used all the other ones. As you can see right here, I have JetBrains Storm, WebStorm, sorry. I have JetBrains PyCharm and I have Atom. But my favorite one right now is uh, Visual Studios Code. It's free, it's simple, and it works on all platforms and you can uh, run all programming languages on it or you could write all programming languages on it. So it's highly, highly, highly important. We, we find a good IDE, but I do recommend Visual Studio's code. So to download it, open up your web browser here. I'm using Chrome. Just type in Visual Studio code. In the browser, it's the first one that pops up here. And the URL here on top is code.visualstudios.com. Now this is a multi-platform IDE. An ID is basically like a web, like a text editor for programming languages that allows you to run and test out the programming as you're running it. So it's pretty cool. It it works on, as you can see here, Mac OS, Windows 64, and Linux 64. Whichever one you guys want to use it on, you can use it on. If you're running on a Mac, you can run this on a Mac. If you're running on a Windows, you can run this on a Windows, but select the one you want, download it and install it. So once it's done installing, I'm gonna minimize this here. Now before we, we actually uh, run it, um, I would recommend you make your uh, Google Chrome your default web browser. To do that, all you have to do is on the top right here, these three dots, click on it and go to settings, right? So then scroll down in settings here, there's an option for default browser, click on it. And uh, I set mine already. So if yours is not set to Google Chrome, Chrome, it'll have a button here to set it to Google Chrome. And uh, I set mine, so that's why there's no option to set it to Google Chrome here, because my default browser is Google Chrome. Because the reason we need Google Chrome is it has its built-in JavaScript uh, IDE, like its own console. So if you click on this again, or actually let's just click out of this, let's open up a new tab here, right click this page here, click on inspect, and uh, click on console. This here is a console. This is You can run lines of JavaScript code and actually print them out on the screen. So our uh, IDE, Visual Studios, we're gonna link this up to this here. So make sure your Google Chrome or your Google uh, web browser is your default browser. So let's just mi minimize this here because we're gonna use it now. But let's close this. Open up Visual Studio Code. Let's minimize it here. I'm gonna leave this on the side. Now we're gonna need to create a directory or a folder where all our uh, Visual Studio files or our JavaScript files are going to be stored. So I created one here. I called it JS stuff. You could create it in any directory. You can name it whatever you want. Whatever, you, wherever you created it, whatever you named it, drag the folder to this part here where it says, you know, open folders. Just drag it to here. It's going to ask you, do you want to save your workplace configuration as, as a file? Just said don't save. So now it added your directory here, as you can see. So this is your directory, I call mine JS stuff. It's linked to the folder you created. So everything we save here, it's gonna be automatically saved to that folder. Very important. Now the next step, let me just um, maximize this here. The next step is to create a file. To create a file, click on new file here. Uh, under this, type in index, I-N-D-E-X dot HTML. Then hit enter. Now we're going to automatically fill this HTML page with HTML code. To do that, just type in exclamation point, then hit enter. This automatically fills your page with uh, like a default uh, HTML code. So 
then uh, right uh, use control hit save if you're running windows save it now the next step is see this icon here extensions we're going to click on extensions right here it's on the left at the bottom we're going to type in server s-e-r-v-e-r -E right so we want to download live server this is the one here i already downloaded mine but it's going to look something like this it's going to have a green button underneath that says install install yours once it's finished installing close this text editor here or close visual studio code and reopen it again so i'm going to go back to the code once you once you guys are done doing that we're going to right click the index folder see where it says index.html the file we just created right click it and we're going to open it with live server so it's going to open up the the page here i'm just going to close this close this so this is the the page or live server that's linked to this right now. So we can test it out here. Go to the body text for the body text ends here. We're gonna type in a script. So just type in SRC and hit tab. It's automatically gonna fill it with a script code here. Now the, the way uh, we uh, incorporate JavaScript into any like website, I highly recommend you put it in the body tags over here. So put in the body and the, the end of the body. So if you put it in the beginning of the body it's going to like slow down your optimization of your web page because it's going to try to load the script first and it's going to take a while and then your page is not going to load as fast so always by, by good practices is to keep your javascripts at the end of the body so now we're going to write our first programming so to write our first program we're actually going to uh, type in something called console so C O N S O L E dot log open and close parentheses right inside the open and close parentheses we're going to type in um, single quotes between two single quotes we're going to type in hello world let me capital w here All right hello world now at the end of the uh the last parentheses we're going to end it with a semicolon. We end all statements with a semicolon. And I'm going to show you guys that throughout this series. So I'm going to keep uh, hammering that into you guys. So I, I think uh, some languages you don't need to actually, like Python, you wouldn't need to add a semicolon. Swift, but this programming language, you should. So now we're going to save it. We're going to open up our browser. We're going to click on this thing again here. Or we're going to open up our browser again. That's the, the one that we just opened up with live uh, server. Right click this here, inspect again, and go to console. Go to console, and as you can see here, it printed out hello world right here. So pretty cool, right? We basically loaded our first programming to hello world. This is a console.log uh, statement. Console.log, basically, it's like the print statement. If you know any other programming languages, it, it prints whatever you put in this parentheses into onto the screen. So that's why we printed this hello world uh, string onto the screen. So here, now that we now we, we know that program codes on our web page, now we're gonna do something that's a lot easier to do and uh, a lot easier to manage. We're gonna create another file here. Click on this new file. We're gonna call this one index.js, right? Index.js, right? So index.js go back to our file here index.html we're going to uh, highlight the script we just created right click it cut open up our index.js paste it on here we're going to get rid of these tags these script tags get rid of these script tags right so now all we have is this here. We have the, the the print statements to print hello world on the screen. So now we're gonna hit save, right? Now we're gonna go back to this, save the index.html as well. Now, the way we are able to interact or the, the reason we're doing this is because you don't want your uh, HTML page to have a million lines of code because you know it has a web app that has a million lines of JavaScript. You want to create separate J JavaScript uh, pages that you can uh, refer to, right? That you can link to. So I'll show you guys how to link to it. Now we created our first one here, index.js. The way you link to it is simple. You just create on the bottom of your body text, right, right before the um, right before the closing body. Again, we're going to type in SR script and hit tab. Again, it's going to automatically fill this up for, for us. Now, 
click here. Now, right after the T of the first tag here, click the cursor there, hit space, right? Now we're going to type in SRC equals uh, parentheses, then it should pop up the pages we have. We want to click our index page here, index.js. Now we're going to hit control S, right? We want to hit control save. So now basically our HTML, our, our HTML code here is linked to our JavaScript code as well. So whatever we do in JavaScript, all the code we're going to be doing is going to be in this JavaScript file here, .js. So I'm going to open up the browser and as you can see, it's still printed hello world on top of here. So now we could change this. We could test it out to make sure. So we can, um, I could type in just hello, right? Hit control S. Now we're going to open up our browser again. As you can see, it just changed to hello. So we know it's working basically. So this is going to be it for this video. So make sure you guys install Visual Studio's code. Make sure you guys created that uh, folder. You linked your folder to this here. And uh, we created a file called index.html. We created a file called index.js. We cre uh, inside the index.html we created a script, a, a JavaScript line here that links our uh, j, j uh, index.js to this HTML page. We we downloaded a uh, live server. We installed it. We restarted our our um, Visual Studio's code application we went back to our directory here and um, we right clicked on our index.html we made sure we opened it with a uh, live server and we made sure that our lives are the full browser is google chrome so that's pretty much it for this video our next video we're probably going to do like uh, different data types and variables so if you guys like this video please give me a like if you guys aren't subscribed to this channel and you, you like videos like this subscribe to my channel i'm ristin from rosmertech.com and thank you guys for watching